Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Zach D Productions here, and I am here for a ranking video for you guys. So for this ranking, I'll be ranking the movie genres from my least favorite up to my favorite. Now, I understand that it is all subjective, and if your ranking is different than mine, that's totally fine with me. Just feel free to leave your ranking in the comments. Now, I'm not going to be talking about the, I guess, more obscure genres of movies. I'm just going to talk about the main genres, or at least I would consider these the five main genres. So yeah, we'll just be ranking these five genres, and again, uh, let me know how would you rank these five genres. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with what I have last, and what I have last... Yeah, my GF is definitely not going to like this, but <laughs> what I have last is romance. Now, yes, I do understand that romance is kind of a girl's genre anyways, because yes, I do understand that, you know, they fantasize and, you know, they think, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> that, you know, they hope to have a similar love story as these romance stories, you know, and they daydream about it all day long, and I totally get it. I mean, but it's not really something that I can relate to personally. But you want to know what my biggest problems are when it comes to romance? Uh, one of the problems is, is that I do find romance to be incredibly boring. I cannot sit through an entire romance film. I mean, the last few that I've seen, I, honest to God, almost fell asleep. I just cannot stand these romance films, if I'm being honest. And I hate saying that. I do, because um, I'm pretty open to most films, but I I really do get bored with these films. And maybe one of the reasons I get so bored with them uh, kind of aligns with another reason why I don't like romance films is that they're pretty predictable. Now, yes, I do understand that there's other genres that are predictable as well, like action. Yes, there has been a good fair share of predictable moments in action films, but I think I'm a little more forgiving towards action films, and maybe that's just me being biased because, well, I do love action. I love action films, so maybe that's part of it. Um, and I also think it's just the way that they do it in romance as well. Like, you know that this guy is going to fall in love with this girl, and you know he's going to end up with her, and you know that that girl is going to, you know, like that guy. And it, too many predictable moment uh, moments in romance, I would say. But yeah, not a very good genre in my opinion. But if you do like it, of course, more power to you. So next at number four, I'm going to have to go with drama, a.k.a. musicals. Now from the research that I've done on Google, the whole musical thing kind of does align with the drama genre. So yeah, we're just going to go with that, uh, the drama genre, you could say. Try saying that ten times really fast. <laughs> drama genre. Uh, not really that many complaints with this genre of films, but I don't know. It's just never been my cup of tea, you know, especially the whole musical thing. It's Musicals have never really been my thing, to be honest. Uh, but I do understand that there is an audience for it, but yeah, it's just never been for me, never been that crazy about it, but I can at least tolerate it more than romance, all right? So let's go ahead and move on to what's at number three. Now at number three, I actually have horror. Now some people actually might place this at number one. Some people might even place it last. Horror is kind of a lover-hate genre, I think. There's some people that just don't like to be scared, you know, and that's why some people would have it last. And then there's people that love the grittiness and the gruesomeness of it. And... Yeah, I, I do understand that there is an audience for it. I, I do. And, you know, this is actually one of those genres that I am willing to open up my mind to uh, because I have not really seen that many horror films, to be honest. Now, of course, I am familiar with some of the biggest horror films, especially the classics like uh, Saw and Friday the 13th and the Halloween films and such. Um... 
I mean, I'd be willing to see those, you know, like I said, I'd be willing to open up my mind more to this genre of films. And that's a good thing, too, because, you know, it gives you more options to open up your mind to other genres. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the only reason horror is at number three for me, you know, in the middle of the ranking is mainly just due to familiarity. Not too familiar with a lot of films in this genre. But from the clips that I've seen, the movie clips that I've seen, kind of intrigued, to be honest. So there you have it. So at number two, I got to go with comedy. Comedy's got to be really high up there. I mean, who doesn't like a good laugh, right? And I always have had a soft spot for comedy. Napoleon Dynamite, of course. Uh, kind of a dumb movie. I mean, you could make that argument. It's one of the most pointless movies of all time, if you know what I mean. Like, the plot of the movie is extremely pointless, but that's what makes it great. You know, just the fact that, you know, the comedy is so dumb, that's just what makes it great, I think. I've always liked the movie. I've always considered it an, a classic. And I've always enjoyed it since I first saw it. And obviously, the Nickelodeon shows, of course, that are really funny, like Drake and Josh. Definitely one of my favorite Nickelodeon shows from way back. But yeah, comedy. Again, who doesn't like a good laugh? So comedy's got to be at number two. And I doubt comedy is last in a lot of people's rankings. But you never know. But obviously, you know what number one is for me, and that is action. I love action. I love most of the action movies that I've seen. Uh, some of them, I think, are just okay. But you guys know that I do love the Marvel franchise. Obviously, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, The Avengers, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I can go on and on about Marvel. Um, DC, I think, is cool, too, like Batman, of course. And, you know, other great movies as well, like the classics like Rambo and The Expendables, Indiana Jones. I mean, come on. Yeah, just so many great movies in action. I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. So, yeah, obviously action is my number one. Well, there you have it. That's my ranking for the film genres. Let me know what you guys think. So, on that note, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and take care.